What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching it's a state tutorial so guys today in this video I'm going to show you that how you can install Proxmox on your desktop computer and convert your desktop computer as a virtual environment server so that you can run multiple virtual machine using the Proxmox so without further ado let's get started but before that if you need this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much okay so guys to install the proxmox first of all we need to download two files number one is proxmox iso file and we need the blender hs software to create bootable usb drive and we are going to use this usb pen drive to create the proxmox bootable usb so let me guide you how you can create a bootable usb with the proxmox so guys now you can see my computer screen now first of all what you need to do you have to open up your browser and search on google proxmox then go to this first website proxmox.com then from here click on this download link and it will take you to this page to download the proxmox virtual environment iso installer you have to click on this download button and you should get start downloading this proxmox iso installer file then you need to download one more software and that is rufus or the hr so take another tab and type here hr then go to this website hr.blender.io then click on download hr then from here click on any of this download link and you should get start downloading the hr software for your windows computer i had already downloaded both of them so i'm not going to download it again and now we have to connect our usb pen drive with our computer so that we can flash the proxmox installer iso file into this pen drive using the hr software so let me connect my pen drive to my computer okay now guys go to your downloads folder where you keep the proxmox installer iso file and the blender hs software double click on the hs software exe file and install it on your computer so this is the blender hs software now from here click on flash from files and select your proxmox iso file then click on open now after that click on change and make sure you have select your correct usb pen drive then click on select one then click on flash and you should start flashing proxmox iso file into your pen drive flashing has been started so it's gonna take some time so you have to wait until the flashing has been completed okay so guys here you can see flashing has been completed now you can close this hs software then after that remove your pen drive from your computer and connect the pen drive on that computer whatever you want to use as a virtual environment server so let me do it okay so guys i have connected my pen drive with the computer what i'm going to use as a proxmox server now let me show you how you can boot from this usb pen drive and install the proxmox now after connecting your pen drive to your computer you have to restart your computer and during the restart you have to turn on the boot mode and from the boot menu you have to select the usb pen drive so let me show you how you can do it here you can see my computer is restarting and during the restart i have to press the boot menu key and now from this list you have to select the usb uefi pen drive and press enter on your keyboard and you should get this screen of proxmox virtual environment installer from this menu you can select the graphical user interface but i'm going to select the terminal ui so i'm going to select the terminal ui then press enter then after some time you will get the installer screen of the proxmox on your computer it is going to take some time so you have to wait okay now here is the proxmox installer screen first of all you have to agree the agreement so using the arrow key select i agree then press enter now from this menu you have to select your disk drive where you want to install the proxmox here i have two disk drive one is ssd and another is hard drive so from this list i'm going to select 120 gb ssd then press enter then using the arrow key select next then press enter now from here you have to select your country time zone and keyboard layout i'm good with the default so i'm going to select next then press enter and now here you have to set a password for your proxmox virtual environment let me type mine then again press the arrow key and go to confirm root password and type the password again then again using arrow key come to the administration email and here you can set your email address here i'm going to type contact at the rate mehdishakil.com then using the arrow key select next then press enter now from here you have to select and set a ip address for your proxmox here as a host name i'm going to type it pve test 
because I'm going to use this as a test machine. Then using the arrow key, come to this IP address field and type your desired IP address, whatever you want to set for your Proxmox. Here I'm going to type 200. I'm going to use this IP address. Then the default gateway is 192.168.0.1, which is good and correct. Then again, I'm going to change this DNS server address to my router default gateway. Then using the arrow key, you have to select the next, then press enter, then select install and press enter. Now it should start installing the Proxmox on your hard drive. It's going to take some time, so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. And after the installation, your Proxmox server will restart automatically. And on your screen, you will get an IP address. And using that IP address, you have to configure or use your Proxmox virtual environment server. And using the dashboard, you can create multiple virtual machines. Okay, installation has been completed. Now it's going to automatically reboot. And here you can see on the screen, it asked me to remove the ISO bootable USB drive. So you have to remove your USB pen drive. Now guys, here you can see the Proxmox group boot screen. Now from here, it's going to automatically boot into Proxmox server. And guys, here you can see on our screen, it shows us this IP address, which is 192.168.0.200. Then we have to use this port number 8006. So guys, now let me show you how you can get the dashboard of the Proxmox virtual environment server using this IP address. Okay, so guys, now you can see my computer screen. Now open up any of your browser. Then navigate to the IP address 192.168.0.200 in my case. Then type the port number 8006, then press enter. And you will get this type of connection error page. Now from here, click on advanced, then click on proceed to unsafe. And this is the Proxmox virtual environment login. Now here you have to type the username root. Then you have to type the password, whatever you said during the installation. Then click on login. If you get this no valid subscription pop up, just normally click on OK. So guys, this is our Proxmox virtual environment. We have successfully installed the Proxmox on our desktop computer and converted it as a virtual environment server. In my upcoming video, I'm going to show you how you can use this Proxmox virtual environment to run multiple virtual machine or NAS server and many more. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.